Hey friends, my name is Amy Rebecca and I am back! I did not plan on disappearing off the face of the earth for a week. Yeah, I went to visit my friend Beth. I had a really lovely time. I thoroughly enjoyed myself, just living my best life. And then I came back and I got sick. And I just want to reassure you because I've had a lot of comments and DMs from you guys recently with concerns because obviously my health has been really on the rocks recently. I've skipped quite a few videos because I haven't been very well. I just want to let you know, I've, I'm talking with my doctor, we're figuring it out, I'm gonna be fine. Like, I'm okay. But thank you so much for checking up on me, for caring about me, and for being patient with me when I need to take these breaks. Today, I thought that maybe I would share some productivity hacks with you guys, and like some tips and tricks that I've been using to make myself more productive. Here's the thing, I know a lot of like YouTubers in my niche of like live your best life, be your best self, like conquer the world type content really like have it together. They're the people who wake up at 5 a.m. and go for a run and like eat an acai bowl. I don't even really know what an acai bowl is. I definitely don't have it all together, but I do my best. But because I am such a hot mess by nature, I can guarantee you that even if you are the biggest procrastinator in the world, you can use these tips and you can implement them to help you be more productive in your day-to-day -day life, get more things done, and just feel like you've accomplished more. If I can do it, anybody can do it, okay? So the first big tip I have for you is around making to-do lists. You guys know I love a list. But I saw this amazing hack on TikTok and I wish I had saved the video so that I could like credit the creator because it's changed my life, but I didn't save it because honestly, I didn't think I was gonna even try this out. I just did it on a whim a couple weeks after seeing it, and now I can't go back. So the idea is that every day you write a to-do list with six things. You order those six things from the most important to the least important, and then you start checking the things off your list, but you have to start at the top and you cannot move on to the next task until you finish the one you're working on. This is revolutionary for the procrastinators of the world, the people like me who have like 50 tabs open on their screen and in their brain, people who find themselves hopping from one task to another and never actually finishing anything. You might only finish three things in a day, and that's completely fine because you finished the three most important things that you needed to get done that day. Then what happens is whatever is left on your list, you move those up onto tomorrow's list. So every day you have six things, you are always working from the most to the least important, and I kid you not when I say I would never have finished my online course if it wasn't for this whole system. I started that course over a year ago. Yeah. Using this system, I got the whole course done within about three weeks. It's a life changer, my friends. The next tip I have for you is something that I also kind of struggle with, and this is making the most of your mornings. I'm not a morning person, but setting myself up for a successful morning with a sense of routine and expectation, oh my gosh, it changes the whole way the rest of my day plays out. Don't spend your morning laying in bed scrolling through Instagram. Get up, go make yourself a cup of coffee, you wash your face, you do your yoga, do whatever it is you gotta do, build yourself a routine that you do every morning, wake up at the same time, know what your intention is, write out your to-do list, and just get started. If you hang around in your pajamas, if you hang around in your pajamas all day, you're never gonna get anything done. The final productivity hack that has really changed my life recently is setting myself work hours. Obviously things are a little bit different for me because I have a part-time job which has set hours but a lot of my work that I do to make money is like this. I'm in my house, nobody's checking up to see if I've done what I need to do or not. It all just relies on me. But regardless of whether you are working from home, self-employed, doing a nine to five, it doesn't really matter because you can still apply this strategy to your life which is to set yourself working hours. And that's not just for your job, that also counts for like boring grown-up stuff, like doing the hoovering, going grocery shopping, doing the ironing, all that stuff that you don't get paid to do, but it's still technically work. If you say work a nine to five, 
then say that, okay, my working hours of doing crap that I don't want to do ends at 7. So between when you get home at say 5.30 and 7, that's when you do your errands, that's when you get all that unpleasantness done, and then the rest of the evening is your own. I was finding that I was procrastinating a lot in the morning, which again goes back to my second tip, be productive in the morning. And then I was having to stay up until like 2 o'clock in the morning to get stuff done because I was on a deadline, and... Uh, it was just a disaster. Now I set myself clear boundaries. I work 9 until 5, 9 until 4 on a Friday if I feel like I want a cocktail in the afternoon because I'm a grown-up and I can do that if I want to. I take one hour for lunch where I watch an episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and then I get straight back to work and that's it. This is not an extensive list of like 50 things to do to be more productive because honestly all I needed to get myself from being like a sloth to someone who is actually going out and achieving the things that she wants to achieve and being, you know, a reasonable member of society. It was those three things. Good list making, a positive start in the morning, and working hours. And it sounds so easy, right? And it is that easy, it's that easy. So try these things out, let me know how they go. If you guys have any productivity tips, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you'd enjoy more videos like this where I share my life hacks and the kind of things that are working for me, then let me know and I surely will do that. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching remember that I love you all so much and you are enough just as you are. I'll see you next time. Bye!